I repeat, hard work doesn't always pay off. Breaking your back won't give the result you deserve. People who achieved success in their life, it wasn't due to simple luck. It was blood, sweat and tears involved all the way. Hi everyone, Ranjan Shikawat here. This is the last video of this year. We have been regularly uploading videos on this channel almost every day since May 1st, 2022. Or I would say, I kept my nose to the grindstone during the second half of the year. And you know, our effort paid off. The year was fruitful and I hope the coming year will also bring some good news for our YouTube channel, English Boosting Power. I want to take this opportunity to thank all the members of our YouTube family from bottom of my heart. As you can see from my voice, I'm under the weather. I have a frog in my throat, but this video is important to me, so I needed to shoot it. So please bear with me and let me continue. As you all know, hard work always pays off, but I would say not always. I know you are surprised, right? But yes, hard work doesn't always pay off. There are many students who are doing hard work to clear competitive exams or for any other walks of life, but everybody won't get the result they want. Only doing hard work is not sufficient, but what is required is smart work. Yes, my dear learners, smart work is needed along with the hard work to get your desired result, including improving your English skills. I repeat, hard work doesn't always pay off. Breaking your back won't give the result you deserve people who achieved success in their life, it wasn't due to simple luck. It was blood, sweat and tears involved all the way. Before making any video, we do a lot of uh, background work. We wrap our brains around it. A new year is approaching our door and we have made our resolution for this coming year. I hope you also might have made it. If not, then go ahead and pledge to do something good in this coming year so that it will add something new to your life. For example, learning a new skill. If you learn something new every year, people will not talk about you in a way which would harm your dignity. They won't say that you are not the sharpest knife in the drawer. You know, the skill means you have got an ace up your sleeve. You have got the upper hand with this new skill. And what is this new skill? It could be a good communication skill, so spoken English, written English and public speaking. So please make a new year's resolution and write it in the comment box. I would love to know. Do you want to know mine? My new year resolution is to put our shoulders to the wheel to make wonderful videos for you, our YouTube family. And now let me know yours. This year we published many videos on our channel, but some videos turned out to be like the cake wasn't worth the candle. We put in our effort, but you know, it didn't give the desired result. We learned from it and improved ourselves. But it didn't demotivate us. We kept on working. We kept on concentrating our work. Failure teaches a lot. Failure is the first step towards success. Similarly, I suggest you, don't stagger just because of your failure. You might have failed to learn English this year, but you have one more year to learn from your mistakes or failures or improve yourself. Work hard smartly not simply hard work. You won't get success by living the life of Riley. You have to come out of your comfort zone. You don't have anybody in your acquaintance who would help and support you so you can ride their coattails. No, you don't have such people. And you can't ride someone's coattails. You are alone. You have to do it alone. Your success or failure depends entirely on your efforts. Or I would say you have to sink or swim. So be ready to swim this coming year, not sink. I hope you have liked this video and you have learned just a little bit more English through this video. Always remember our aim is to give you the best to make you the best. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the coming year.